been open for the user to interact with the product and even extend the functionality of the product. So that's really important because instead of having a product have a normal life cycle of just being like a trend and dying, now the user itself creates its own content, like as Steve said, and then and then just extend the functionality and keep keeping the, the product alive in a certain yeah. way. Right. So we we are we are living in the like era that every, everything is ready, it's all connected. Yes. So maybe it's better of the content provider how they uh, think like what to say out of box and how we how they try to like approach the advanced technology like uh, you guys. So and the last question is uh, I wanna uh, uh, ask you for advice. Who want to be like you guys as the next uh, the hero of the technology wearable tech? So. What will be the key factor who is preparing this uh, technology field as a startup to succeed? So that's a um, yeah. There's a lot of a lot of factors. Um, so if I understood the question right, it's if you know if you're another startup who's trying to introduce a new physical device or a hardware product out there, what are some of the challenges? Um, you know, one of the big challenges in building a hardware product is that you're limited by um, iteration cycles or how quickly you can change things versus software. When you make a mobile app or a website, you know, you can try literally thousands of different ideas or slight changes on design overnight just by doing A-B testing or by, you know, changing one line of code and recompiling. But uh, unfortunately, when you're building a hardware device, it's not quite as easy to actually just hit recompile and have a whole new device. You've got to think about manufacturing and process to do that. And there are ways now that you can help speed that up. So it's still not at the level of software where you know in a few seconds you can have something new, but with new technologies like 3D printing, um, advanced manufacturing, or even low cost or outsourced manufacturing and prototyping, you can do some things now very quickly and cheaply that wouldn't have been possible a few years ago. It will let you actually try out and iterate with new ideas of hardware. So I think it's important to be creative on how you iterate with your technology and how you how fast you can prototype and how you find ways to actually go out and get feedback without being able to make a thousand versions or a thousand iterations if you would in software. Um, so that's one of the big challenges and also the companies that have done I think very well recently have all found ways to very quickly kind of overcome that issue and make it directly to large audiences of consumers and get feedback. And it's something that if you look at a lot of the successful Kickstarter campaigns have actually been you know, one of the side benefits of these crowdfunding ideas is that not only do you get money up front from customers, but you also get, you know, thousands of customers to talk to and try out and kind of prototype these ideas with before you actually spend a year or six months building it in the real production form. Thank you. Very, very good point. Yeah, thanks. So. What about Dylan? Um, I would like to share just a little story about our company. Our company is founded by Palmer Lucky, and he's only 21 years old, and he's just legal enough to drink. Um, but um, he had this idea of, of playing games in virtual reality. That's all he had. And he was collecting all the other um, headsets out there in the world. Um, and he's, he's one of the largest uh, headset collectors. But none, none of those devices were able to fulfill his dream. So what he did is he tried to pursue, try to pick little components out of little these pieces and build his own headset. And that's where our company started. Um, he wanted to build something that could be enjoyed by himself. But fortunately, there are a lot of people who share the same dream. So I, I'd like to um, give you guys a challenge that um, what you desire, what, what you want to do, can be the greatest and best idea out there. And do not be afraid to go out there and test it out. Fortunately, I mean, yeah, we're all based in America or North America. Um, so we were able to use Kickstarter, but there are still ways for you to find the funding and to start it with the stuff that you think you want to you want to make, you think you want to have um, try out. Um, don't try to think about greater market. I mean, the least market analysis could go wrong. For us, when we started our Kickstarter, we were thinking that we would be lucky to sell maybe 1,000 units, but we ended up selling 7,500 units for the first month. And we were projecting that we'll be selling about 10,000 units globally, but we were ending up we ended up selling 40,000 units to the world. And 
I know if you have watched the movie called the uh, Jaws, but what he said at the end, end of the end of the movie, um, I think there's something that I like to take with me as well, is that once you think about the world, the world is not built by the people who are better than you. They're, the world is built by the same people like you. Once you realize that, you, know, you will be able to um, come out with your own ideas that could enjoyed by thousands of other people. So I will give you a challenge that you should go and do something that you enjoy and want to make part of that. I just want to add one quick point actually yes. that you brought up there. Um, there's actually a lot of advantages of being here in Korea and building a hardware company. So we're, we're based in Canada, but we actually do parts of our manufacturing here in Seoul. So as part of the trip here today, I'm actually meeting our manufacturer at the airport and hand carrying a box of plastic parts back to Toronto. So. There's a lot of advantages of being here, especially electronics, because you know Shenzhen is close in Hong Kong, and here in Korea um, is actually a much faster and more economical place to build these prototypes and devices. So big advantages as well here. Well, thank you for you guys about the inspiration and speech. It's really like about the, you say same exactly the same as what this job say. I want to delete that last one. Uh, yeah. um, I think it's very important to stick to to the idea you once have at the beginning and start. Um, perfectionizing it by having fast prototyping because also time flies really fast and that is like a very important factor that and, and, and it's true that there will be a lot of barriers but as long as you stick to the main idea and not get distracted with the final objective I think you can get anything done. A very good point about the concentration and focus. Yes. Very good. And uh, thank you so much uh, for your time and uh, really appreciate about your joining here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.